Hi there, boys and girls, and welcome to another story behind the picture. This time we're going to talk about working in open shade to get this kind of image. Now, one of the things I've done here is to set up a black cloth in open shade. The sun is behind it, so what's happening is, is the model is going to be sitting in the open shade so it's nice and soft. And I put up a strobe in an umbrella to get me the light that I wanted to get this kind of image. And as you can see, the black drops off completely, nice and black. It actually is not as black as it is for the final because obviously I'm retouching the picture later on, adjusting for the exposure. But it does mean that I've got something to work with, which is kind of a clear, simple background with a nice little bit of fill. And then my umbrella light, which is the strobe, as you can see going off, is just giving me the light that's lighting up the model. And now I'm working with the model here. This is April Scott, and she's given me a lot of really, really great poses. I've gone on a black store, which sort of disappears because the background is going to be black. And what I've done with her is I've put a wig on her. And as you can see, I'm just adjusting the, the wig a little bit just to give me the look that I want. And we've dressed up in this sort of kind of look with a... Um, a, a bodysuit that's sort of netted and um, she's got the funky glasses on and then the extra piece of jewelry and in fact uh, the uh, the big beads that are going around her neck the big uh, big, big things right there um, I actually got from a thrift store in the UK so obviously at some particular point they must have been uh, ownership by some little old lady uh, although she might not have been little, she might have been a big old lady, who knows. But anyway, they, they come in really handy. So what I'm really demonstrating here is working with a model, utilizing some props, setting up an outside open shade sort of studio controlled environment, which is very, very typical of what Peter Limburg would do, except he would probably have a complete box that he was working in. And I'm not bothering to build a big box. I'm just dropping down a background and I'm working with open shade. So it's nice and soft all the way around the model instead of just being hard, hard direct light. And my strobe light is a fill. And again, the thing that I'm really trying to demonstrate is how much I'm working with the model and of course because I'm outside you know there's sort of a certain amount of freedom and the model feels really good it's nice and warm and we're getting these kind of images which I think look really super now you might say to yourself why am I putting black on black well because I can that's why I'm doing it so if you don't have a studio space and you want to create something that's sort of studio orientated you can just put a backdrop outside uh, sometimes you can just put it in the shaded area where your garage is or something, side of the house, and do exactly what I'm doing here with just one strobe as a flash fill and get your model to move around. And of course, there's plenty of area for me to move around. As you can see, I'm moving back and forth. I've got an 85 millimeter lens so I can pull back and get three quarter shots and I can get some uh, some more zoomed in type things just by moving back and forth. Here you can see is more of my three quarters uh, sitting on the on the stool. So that's what I'm doing. I'm shooting shallow depth field about 6.3 and I think I'm about 1 80th of a second. Uh, and then uh, I'm doing that because I'm trying to not add too much light that's coming in naturally. I want my backdrop to drop off a little bit. And of course, using a shallow depth field, I can also get my background nice and blurry. And you can also see here that April's having a really great time. She's giving me a whole bunch of different looks. We're really enjoying it. And that's another thing too, is really make it fun for your model and let her sort of go a little bit and really you know, pull some faces and do some some movements that are really um, very animated. And you're going to get some really, really creative images. So I hope you uh, enjoyed that. That's uh, sort of a behind the scenes uh, show and tell. And here's a little quick movie at the end here where you can see April just moving around in front of the camera. And we did this just as a little extra video piece at the end. So if you like that, you might want to pop over to my website, andrefelixphoto.com, and check out my blog. I've got lots of interesting things on there. You can also download a PDF of a book I put together. And all I can say is please subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And thanks a lot, and bye for now.